Has she said anything about you since she cut you off? I don't think she has, but yet you continue to trash her. OK, I'm done with this. No, no, no. Sorry, no. Oh, I, Sorry. So, do you know what? That's pathetic. You can trash me, maybe, not my no, own. No, 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 no. See I'm, you later. I'm being... So... Sorry, can't this do this. This is absolutely diabolical behaviour. Good morning, Britain's weatherman Alex Beersford is opening up about Pierce Morgan's decision to quit the show following their heated on-air debate about Meghan Markle. Pierce spouts off on a regular basis and we all have to sit there and listen. 6.30 to 7 o'clock yesterday was incredibly hard to watch. On Tuesday, the 55-year-old journalist made the decision to leave the morning show after viewers and his co-host slammed him for his comments about Meghan Markle following her tell-all sit-down with Oprah Winfrey. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, that's a I wouldn't believe it if she read me a weather report. And the fact that she's fired up this, this onslaught thoughts. against our royal family, I think is contemptible. The feeling to Piers is quite simple over here in Britain. He's a bit like Marmite too. You either love him or you hate him. But Piers, he dishes it out, he's got to be able to take it too. I think there was quite a lot of surprise when he took his mic off and stormed out the studio today after getting a bit of a talking to or a dressing down from his weatherman. Later that day, ITV, the network behind Good Morning Britain, released a statement announcing Pierce's decision to leave the morning program. I had a good chat with ITV and um, we agreed to disagree. And on Thursday, Alex weighed in, sharing a lengthy statement on Twitter that explained Pierce's departure wasn't the conclusion he was hoping for. Alex said that he knew their opinions on the treatment of Harry and Meghan were different before they even sat down, but he hoped they could reach a place of understanding. Quote, I didn't want him to quit, but I did want him to listen. Alex concludes his statement, writing that Pierce has been supportive of him and given him advice along the way. And for that, he was grateful. Quote, I wish him well. I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in the right to uh, be allowed to have an opinion. Uh, if people want to believe Meghan Markle, that's entirely their right. I don't believe almost anything that comes out of her mouth. This all comes after Pierce spoke out on Wednesday about his decision to quit. I think the damage she's done to the British monarchy and to the Queen at a time when Prince Philip is lying in hospital is enormous and frankly contemptible. So uh, if I have to fall on my sword for expressing an honestly held opinion, so be it. Piers has had a lot of stick over um, what many, I think, perceive to be his relentless bashing of Harry and Meghan. And you'll see if you follow him on Twitter, friends just will often tweet, just leave them alone. Well, Piers' argument is no, they don't want to be left alone. They're putting themselves in the public eye and, you know, I'm gonna go for them. And he, and he has done repeatedly.